check it out. I love the decorations on the buildings. Right, we're heading over to Fifth Avenue. We're gonna go check out St. Patrick's Cathedral. Here's a look from the outside. All right, I'm gonna try to head in to St. Pat's. Francis. Pope Benedict. Francis Xavier. This is a Galero. A wide brim tasseled hat worn by clergy. They do have a gift shop also. This is a candle offering to St. Anthony. This is a candle offering to St. John the Evangelist. is St. Elizabeth Ann Seton. This is St. Rose of Lima. As you walk along the walls of the cathedral aligned with the carvings, of the Stations of the Cross. Here's Jesus speaks to the daughters of Jerusalem. Got some carvings of Saints, Saint Bernard, Saint Anselm. We were just looking at the Stations of the Cross. You can see the stained glass windows. for Jesus and Mary. Like the artwork on the floor. And we have some candles for St. Teresa. There's some historical documents up. The timeline of the church. Here's Cardinal Egan. Santa Mass outside of the World Trade Center. After 9-11, we have the statue of Jesus and Mary. And here's the back of the altar. A little bit of a different perspective. And I believe the tabernacle is back here. The Archbishops of New York are buried in a crypt under the altar. They follow down the stairs. This is St. Joseph. And we have a baptismal area over here. And just look at the carvings. Really exquisite work. A crystal cross here. It's a relic of St. Patrick. And you can take a look at the altar. at the altar you can see the organ pipes just massive there's some prayer candles with the shroud of Jesus on there this is 
St. John the Baptist. Look at how incredibly ornate the structure is around the statues. You can get souvenir medals here as well. One medal is four dollars. Jess got one. Mom got one too. That's Our Lady of Guadalupe. Guadalupe. And I got the Lady of so on the way out of St. Pat's, they do have a bus for Pope St. John Paul II and Pope St. Paul VI. All right, we left St. Pat's. We're walking up Fifth Avenue towards 57th Street. This is where all of the really expensive stores are. We just passed Cartier and Versace. There's a Microsoft store here for anybody buying PC stuff. Here's Coach. Street meat. Here's the Peninsula. Get a better shot here. Coaching Gabbana. Check out those shoes. Fancy. Whoa, I could totally rock that jacket. So this is Trump Tower, the side of it. It's all blocked off. Police barrier, so you can't get around it. There's a lot of protesters that still happen over in this area. There it is. The police barrier's all over here too. You have Gucci inside Trump Tower. You have all of this barrier out here too, so nothing can happen. Trump Tower. Check out this clock. Open to the public. Also within Trump Tower, you have Tiffany and Company. And these cats at the Gucci store. Look at those cats. That is so crazy. Inside Trump Tower, you have Trump events, the Trump store. Trump's ice cream parlor, Trump cafe, Trump grill, and Trump bar. So we made our way into Trump Tower. Where's the Trump store? There's Trump ornaments. Oh my goodness, they have Space Force hats and Space Force shirts. Up on the fifth floor of Trump Tower is this public garden that's closed. I believe it's closed for security reasons. Needs to be able to go out here and sit and just be able to people watch from up above and relax and enjoy trees on the fifth floor of a tower. And here's a look down from the fifth floor. It's not for those with vertigo. Now we made our way outside of Trump Tower. We're headed over to Tiffany's. And I like about Tiffany, it's like the doors close like a vault. So this really tall building over there was in a video from Casey Neistat this week. The top floor apartment for that building will run you $58 million. Here's Bergdorf Goodman. Oh, I could rock that jacket. Look at that thing. The shoes, eh, maybe not the shoes, I don't know. The jacket though. All right, so we're up against the beginnings of Central Park area over here. We're gonna turn and go back down Fifth Avenue because we're gonna go back to Central Park tomorrow for a good chunk of the day. And right here is where FAO Schwartz used to be on 58th and 5th. And we're back, another Bergdorf Goodman over here, the men's store across the street. Women's over here. Wow. At 57th Street, you got Bugari. Come across Harry Winston. Rare jewels of the world. Construction happening here. It is a stunningly gorgeous day today in New York as well. Not that much foot traffic because this is Friday before Memorial Day. A lot of people have already left for the weekend. towards 30 Rock. We've got our tour of 30 Rock. 
and the top of the rock. And we're here at the top of the rock, can't miss it. Red carpet, observation deck. We checked in for our tour, okay, for tour guide. We're going around 30 Rock, and then we're gonna go upstairs to the top of the rock. For the 30 Rock tour, they give you headphones and a little receiver so you can hear the tour guide. This tour mostly focuses on the architecture and art of Rockefeller Center. 22 buildings make up Rockefeller Center. This tour focuses on the original 14 buildings. Radio City Music Hall is one of those buildings. Original intent was to build a Metropolitan Opera House in this area. However, due to the stock market, it didn't happen at NBC had a foothold in radio and television. They occupy the first 30 floors of this building. This entire middle building opened up in 1933. This opened up in 1932. Stanford Dancers, Theater, Songs. This one building on the corner that's now Magnolia Bakery. It's part of old Manhattan. When Rockefeller was buying leases of all of the buildings around so he could build new Manhattan, they refused to sell this building, so it still exists in its original type of format. Here's another look at it. This building to the right is the home of Simon & Schuster. This artwork is called television. And it ties into the studios that are up above. Those are dancing girls. That figure is called transmission. That figure is called reception. And that is mankind with television. And the reason why they have no clothes is because clothing dates the time period that the statues would be part of. And right behind me is Christie's auction house. A Da Vinci piece sold here in November 2017 for $450 million. Anyone can go in Christie's, no dress code. Can check out any of the items that are up for auction anytime and set any auctions for free. Is this where they tape the Today Show inside? Christmas tree is normally right in this area. You guys can check out a video that I did a couple of years ago. I came to visit the tree. For those wondering what happens with the tree when they take it down, they donate it to Habitat for Humanity and they build houses out of the wood. This plaque is right where the base of the tree goes. This is not Zeus, this is wisdom. And he's wiping away the clouds of ignorance. The title of this piece is News. This is the former Associated Press building. And this piece is made out of stainless steel. And these pieces commemorate the workers of Rockefeller Center. And we're gonna go in this building. This is the International Building, 45 Rock. It's the lobby of the building. This is Atlas. Right across from St. Patrick's. If you look at Atlas from here, through the globe, it looks like the cross is the center of the universe. The sculpture is not normally here, but this view is made to draw you in. The statue is Prometheus as he's about to give fire to mankind. There's the centerpiece for 30 Rock. All right, our tour is over. Now we're going to the top of the rock. Stepping into Rockefeller Center. Before you go up, you have to watch this movie. Down this way. Nothing 
Top of the rock. The ears are popping. 43 seconds in that elevator. 69 4. The famous picture of everybody on that construction beam was taken up this high. Check it out. There's Central Park. Coming outside. Pan a little bit this way. Apologies for wind. See in here facing east. You can see out this window. St. Patrick's Cathedral down there. That's Queens across the river. Now if we go across the other side, we have a view of the Empire State Building. I like this observation deck better than the Empire State Building because you can see the Empire State Building. And then just behind it, in the landscape, it's one World Trade Center, Freedom Tower. All the way back there, it's the Statue of Liberty. You can see from this vantage point the MetLife building and the Chrysler building as well. I don't know what building this is. It's like super shiny. It's cool. Alright, we're gonna go up to the higher levels. Somewhere a little higher up. Very windy. Come around the west side. You can see New Jersey across the river. We're going up to the tippy top level. That's the official term, tippy top. No glass up here restraining you because you're a little bit further back. Look at that. Wowie zowie. It's gorgeous. My last fun fact of the day. The MetLife building was replaced in Avengers to make that Stark Tower or the original Avengers Tower. Alright, I think that's going to do it for us. Look at this. Wedding photos at the top of the rock. Can't beat that. When in Rome, do as the Romans. When in New York, you eat a street dog. <laughs>